Hey guys, so you just created your first character in Final Fantasy XIV and you're finally in the game, you're ready to go and you look at the UI and you're like, what do I do? I want to make sure that I have the right UI, I know what I'm doing so I'm not frustrated and fighting the UI when I'm trying to play this game, right? So guys, uh, I'm here to help you out. Hi, my name is Daniel. Thank you so much and welcome to Dragon More Gaming. And I'm going to be showing you uh, kind of the top tips uh, to help you guys with the UI so that uh, you won't be <laughs> frustrated at the game when you first start out so you can get kind of things lined up you know the way you want them uh and, and the way that you know veteran players like myself really like to use certain you know configurations just to make it simple and easy for you so with that let's uh let's start with just uh tip number one so uh movement uh so you would imagine uh you know wasd works like wasd but it does not you'll notice that a and d actually turn you instead of actually strafing. So our first thing, our first tip for you guys is to, to rebind the strafe. So first go into keybinds and the very first thing I always do is change strafe to A and strafe right to D. Bam. And you don't need a move turn left. So you can just leave those blank. Hit apply. Bam. You notice that if you kind of move your camera around and you start trying to move it whips the camera back right it always wants to face you forward and i'm like well i want to be able to look at my character when i'm you know moving around and it just keeps snapping back so number two is that we're going to fix this uh this auto uh you know, focus kind of thing so for this one you're going to go into character configuration and you want this first subheader uh control settings and general tab and you're going to scroll down to camera controls and this one right here, standard type camera auto adjustment. We do not want auto adjustment. So you're going to click on that one as never. I don't know why you would want to use always. That just seems like a bad time. So the next thing you want to know is, so your hot bars. You can hit escape, go to HUD layout, and you might be looking like, what is all this mess? <laughs> so there's a lot of things here and we're just going to kind of break it down for you pretty easy. So the hot bars themselves, you can go and you see that they're in this kind of blue color, the, the name of it. And if you right click it, it'll actually activate it and turn it white. Uh, alternatively, I think you can go with the little cog wheel here uh, to turn those on. And this is, so you can actually set it up different ways, uh, like lengthwise, horizontal, have it individual rows. Since you have multiple hot bars, I just go with the, the default, just the you know long horizontal bar for some and there's some that I use for vertical uh, that I'll show you so so first off let's do save so I turned on hotbar 3 again you just right click that and hit save and now you'll see the third hotbar here and you have to be also in the HUD layout so hit escape go to HUD and you can drag these things around so this is gonna be personal preference however you want to lay it out uh, just to kind of show you some things that I do so the the parameter bar is just your health uh, so we're going to move, I like to move that towards the top, so we'll move that here in a second. Uh, the cross hotbar is for the, uh, if you use a controller, so if you're using mouse keyboard like myself, you can kind of generally ignore that one, just keep it in the middle there. Uh, but for this, I'm actually going to do experience at the very top, I like to have that up there. So the, we'll get crossbar out of the way. And hotbar I like to have at the bottom. And... You can see I like to stack these as close as you can. So just the little uh, the outline here, if you save it, you can see, yeah, there's kind of some room between these different uh, abilities, let's see. Uh, so there's a little bit of gap there. So what I like to do is actually have them, at least on the HUD layout screen, you actually have them overlapped a little bit, as so. And that actually tightens up so that the uh, they're actually much closer and actually almost touching here so you can actually have much more compact if you like that clean UI look. Okay, so first thing when you're looking at these bars is what do you need on these hot bars? Because this first one here is sprint. So this one you'll love. This is just so you can move faster always. You can use it in and out of combat just to get you around quicker. Uh, this thing is to bring up the play guide that'll send you to a website. Uh, for Final Fantasy XIV's uh, playthrough guide, which are usually garbage. I don't like them, so drag that off the bar, left click, get rid of that. You don't need that. Uh, teleport is going to be very useful. Now, for my next tip, I want to show you guys. So, I like to have the three, I, I would recommend three hot bars for kind of your general combat. Uh, so you'll get, you know, this is an MMO and Final Fantasy has lots of different abilities, so I usually end up with like three 
bars uh, worth of, of keys to, that I have bound. And so you can see the defaults are just, you know, 1 through 12, uh, and by 12 I mean, you know, minus and equal across the keyboard. The second row is all control and the same thing. And then the third one I like to, uh, to add my own additional hotkeys. So go back into keybinds, go to hotbar. And now for hotbar three, I like to add a few things. I like to add uh, tilde, you know, right next to the one key. And now that we freed up the uh, the t keyboard turn, you can have Q and E. Uh, and then if you've played other MMOs, anything around W, A, S, and D works really well. So I like F. Uh, so face target, we can go into kind of some more detail if you want to keep that. That's not that's optional. Uh, there's different ways you can use that. And if you just use your mouse and right click and spin around, you can face the target anyway. So I usually don't care about face target, so I use F for that. Uh, v for flip camera. I mean, if you want to look behind you, cool. You can just spin the camera. So I like to use V and as well as X and target filters I don't use. So again, that's a lot of these things are just kind of optional. So you just get rid of a whole bunch of those. You can also use Z. Uh, I personally don't. And that's just because I think it's really cool. Z is the default for pulling your weapon out and it just makes you look cool. So I really like doing that anyway. So I just leave that one as is. Okay, so back to this. So I'm going to keep the HP at the top, along with the experience, hot bars at the bottom. And again, this is all personal preference. Yeah, I like to move the yeah, inventory stuff down here. I actually keep the main menu like over here. Uh, what else? So you'll also want the alliance list. So I have, so you have your party, your limit gauge. This is where you get limit breaks when you're in a group. I just keep that up there. Scenario guide for your quest, your party. So who's in your party? Might slide that over just to give me more room. Uh, and then alliance list. I put alliance list under the party list because it's just when you have multiple groups, you just have multiple parties. So you just kind of add them below. So I have alliance list one and two just under the party list. Now enemy list, this will be when you're in combat, what enemies are actually part of the encounter. I like to have this pretty close to the middle and kind of close to the hotbar just so it's kind of easier to see what all you're in combat with. And you can actually click on those enemies from that as well to target them. Uh, if you have a pet class or your uh, chocobo, I like to keep this kind of over here. And then duty list, this will be like your quests. I just have those right under the minimap. And I just like to push some of the stuff up into the corner just to give it a little bit more room. Now, the again, we want some more hotbars. Like I said, three bars for combat. Uh, but my next step is that you also want some hot bars just for non-combat related things. So we're going to take, like for example, this hot bar 8, right click it to turn it white means turn, turn it on. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oop, let me grab hot bar 9, if I can get to it. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way temporarily. There we go. So turn on this one. And actually, we're going to leave the party bar just a little bit to the side just so we can get uh, this hot bar in here. Okay. And save. And what that's going to do is give us some hot bars on the side. Now, uh, like I said, I would like to use out of combat abilities and things for the side hot bars just so you can get to them you know, fairly easily, but they're not in kind of in your core combat area, uh, the first three hot bars. So, like teleport, you don't use in combat. Uh, return is like a you know like your hearthstone or something is you know whatever you use to to return back to an aetherite so that's uh also a teleport type uh thing so that's off to the side and then sprint i've yeah you know, i've done both i've had it in the combat area and i've had it over to the side since you can use it both <coughs> so it's whatever again personal preference there okay so then next what we want to do is uh is so we actually want to look at the target bar so the target bar is when you have something targeted, this is, uh, you know, it could be NPCs or enemies. I, and a lot of people that do like the in-game rating stuff, you want to have that kind of front and center. So you actually, I like to pull this down. So this is basically in the middle of the screen. Now I'm gonna move progress bar. So progress bar is your own spell casting. So I like to have that right above the hot bar. But for target bar, you want it basically right above that. And I'm going to 
move this out of the way just to get to it later but so target bar front and center so whatever you have targeted especially the enemies that are going to be this is kind of like right below my character so i can see like all right this is what i'm doing this is who i'm fighting and then additionally you can't so this is uh, an optional thing but so the target bar includes three things and if you come to this uh this gear over here you click on this and there is both so there's the hp of it the targets cast bar or progress bar and status meaning you know debuffs uh or buffs on the target so you can actually click display independently and you'll notice it breaks it up into different uh windows here so you can actually move these independently and you can change the size of them as well too so for example you could have uh just the status here and then take the all right we'll move this one here we go target progress bar and i can say click on just this one and i can make this one way bigger assuming i did that one right <laughs> uh so yeah element size as well as the uh kind of the zoom thing here we go so that'll make it bigger so in case uh things are casting you can see that that is a lot bigger as a result okay so next is target hp so now that we got the target bar set up the way we want it we uh we have a nice little feature where i didn't realize this <laughs> for the longest time but you can actually turn on percentage of hit points for the target so as you're killing it it just has a health bar uh, like classic Final Fantasy games, it's just like here's its health bar and then it hits zero, you know it's dead. But if you want to get more of an exact percentage as far as how many, you know, what percent the actual uh, target is at, you can go into character config and then this one you go to UI settings and you want the middle one HUD and this one you come down to the very bottom and do display targets at HP as percentage. You click that. Now, you see, if you're in combat with something, it'll actually show the percentage of the, uh, the target's health as you're fighting it. All right, so number seven is battle effects, or spell effects, you could call them. Uh, so this is something that you can, uh, you can actually turn off you know, the different spell effects in the game. Now, for this, when you're first starting out, you know, they look really cool, and I you know, would definitely use them, you know, keep them on, of course, just to see how cool different things look. Uh, but you will notice after a while that, that you know there's a lot of abilities <laughs> there's a lot of spell effects and there can be a lot of players so if you want to turn these spell effects or battle effects off you can go hit escape go to character config go to control settings and you want to go to the character tab and down at the bottom this will be what you want battle effects settings so this will show what effects that you can actually display or that you want to hide uh, and so again for typically for our groups we like to do show all for own because you're the main character you're cool you get to see all your spell effects awesome for party you actually do show limited and that's going to show just you know kind of the very priority effects especially like little ground aoe's uh for from your healers so that you know they might want you to stand in their healing puddles you can get healed and you want to have that turned on so you can actually see it so so show limited will make sure that those kind of effects are in place uh, and then for others, just because there are so many players of this game and all of them doing crazy effects, especially if you're getting these big, you know, 24 man alliance raids, uh, we actually do show none. So we do show none for others and show limited for parties, show all for just yourself. Hit apply. Bam. So that's all you need for battle effects. And the 10th tip is about your inventory. Now for your inventory, you have multiple ways to get to it. You can just simply hit I to bring up your inventory. Uh, additionally, these, uh, yeah, this part of your HUD that shows when well, my camera's blocking it here. Uh, so these little things down here actually will open up the various tabs of your inventory as well, uh, as well as opening up your character portrait. And what you can do is you can actually also show multiple of these at once. So there's, instead of just having four different pages of your inventory, you can show them all at once. Uh, or even two of them at once. So you hit escape, go to character configuration, and you want to go to item settings. And these first uh, these first options, you can do expanded, which you hit apply is two at once. So again, hitting I will bring up two inventory. So this will be one and two. 
uh, and then tab two is actually three and four here. And then the separate tabs, this is for like your key items and uh, your crystals and shards that you have. Uh, or additionally, again, character configuration item and open all. We'll actually open everything all at once. You can have all your inventory in one spot. So I know some people like to just be able to open and just have everything all at once. That's how you would be able to do that. And I hope you guys found value. Hope you guys found value in that. I just want to put something out for you guys, just to you know get you guys started with the UI, just <laughs> and some other kind of uh, little elements that are just you know not yeah you know, I don't call it normal or just you know not optimized for uh, for MMO play. So uh, definitely some things to change to look at and just to make your experience a lot more you know efficient, easier, uh, so you're not frustrated with the UI when you're trying to play this game. So guys. If you did like it, make sure to, to click the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV content. I uh, definitely want to do some more of that for you guys. And uh, just you know, let me know uh, what you guys are looking for. Uh, just drop me a comment what, uh, what kind of cool stuff you want to see me try and do to, uh, to help you guys out. So guys, uh, I think that'll do it. So thank you, thank you so much. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.